Hello. We are playing Fallout 4. We are going to start right at the beginning. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> I love this game. Hey, Codsworth. We're going to try and do a absolute 100% playthrough, and we're going to try and find absolutely everything we're going to read. 100% daily value of sugar. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. <sighs> More of the same. Hmm. It's a little early to be drinking. New Coca Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Ready to make us. How can someone so small drink so much? There's actually quite a bit that's explorable. I don't know why he keeps bothering the salesman. We'll see him later, too. Good old U.S. of A. Out of the late nights, it was worth it. That is a cool little thing there. Um, that is our certificate. Uh, we studied law as Nora. Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. Secure your future. You see, vault -Tec, vault tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Ten. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. <laughs> yes, sounds great. <laughs> but I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. What's Tell funny is this happens vault. right before oh, the bombs drop. The like. of a modern home, I assure you. <laughs> kind of crazy. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A like, what are the chances of that, right? It's you just sign mission. the paper. It's they passion. walk away and, like, boom. Sure. sure. Let's, Let's do it. it. Splendid! Splendid! Now, uh, let's see. Uh, what kind of build do I want to do for myself? I think I'm going to go pretty well-rounded, but not completely well-rounded. Like, focus primarily on luck and then intelligence. And I can work the others up kind of like along the way. But a high luck is actually really important. Or at least a decent luck. If you have no luck at all, like one luck, then really bad stuff can happen to you a lot. <laughs> Make it very difficult. Important because it is important because it is what allows you to talk it is what allows you to talk to other people. 
get better deals and talk people into doing things or giving you information. It just, it's very handy. I don't like having builds with low charisma. It just makes things difficult. Oh, I, that's not the way to do it. Eh. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork. Only right? for you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Um, baby crying. Sean has a bit of change, but he absolutely refuses to be a baby. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Mm hmm. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Yeah, I wonder. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? <laughs> He's gonna grow up to be a bad guy. Why don't you give it a Sadly. Sadly. No. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. When he's still cute and little. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. Sir? Sounds uh, like fun, except we'll never get to do it. Codsworth? What's wrong? That's so sad. Alright. On to the game. We should get, get the, the sign, sign next time we're at the park. Followed by... Mm. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? what did he say? Oh no. We do, we, do mm -hmm. have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Nuclear war, y'all. We need to get to the vault. Now! Yep, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Residents of the Now, you could always, like, not go to the vault, but if you try and leave town and you don't go to the vault, then you will die. Because it's nuclear war. And the only people who survived were the people who were protected from the nuclear radiation. Right? Well, except the ghouls, of course, right? The ghouls that didn't go feral. We need, we need to get, to get in. in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, sir. You two, follow me. Come on. What's, What's going to happen to all those people outside God, the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Run. Step on the platform in the center. This is one of my favorite parts. Because it's just, is like, okay? mind-boggling. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Boom. Did you see that? Ooh. Aw. Vault 111. A better future 
Underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Yeah, Everyone all our neighbors that didn't get into the vault, the they're there. all dead. Now, there is a group you run into later that are all feral ghouls. And it is true that all ghouls start off as ghouls, but the problem is, is that with feral ghouls, what happens is that their brain rots in their head and they go feral. So... You can't really consider that a survivor, can you? Because, yeah, they're there by the time you get out of the vault, but they're feral. Like, they're no longer even thinking. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Plus, they're a different species. Entirely by that point. Even if they weren't feral, they're no longer human. This, this is, is one, one of our, our most advanced, advanced facilities. facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything, everything we had. My mother and father died. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Good fit, don't you think? The Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. For the future, right? This runaround, I'm going to learn a lot of things that I, I still don't know after playing it multiple times. There are still things I don't know. Just step in here and put your vault in. Uh, It'll be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Honey? Could you help me? Who is my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is. See? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Decontamination pod. Liars. Vault tech are all liars. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. You have no idea. How right you are about that. A whole new life. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Decontamination, my arse. I always just want to burst out the screen at this part and just like shoot Kellogg. get out and do something. What do you think about that? Okay. Oh, oh God. God. 
Why would vault Tech do this? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. We can open these, but we can only actually open one. We can press all of oh, them. The others are erroring. And I'll, and I'll get, get shown back. back. But if you open that one and press on your husband, you'll get your wedding ring. Like you saw. Hello? And you'll make a pro uh, promise to get Sean. That's the only empty cryopod right there. Why'd they do this? Oh, something I should make you aware of. I am playing with mods and I am playing with specifically Sim Settlements 2. And so that will change some things <coughs> as we go along. <coughs> it's gonna basically add more content and more possibilities. Because I'm using mods, I'll be using a cheat terminal, which is another mod, um, which will allow me to get through areas where if I get stuck because of the mods. All right. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Upon activation notice from vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Because that's not evil in murder. Of course it is. Absolute insanity. So as soon as we were sealed into our chambers, they basically murdered anyone who wasn't supposed to be there. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically perverted preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. In other words, you can do what you want. Crazy. This vault was a crazy experiment, man. Crazy. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel. Enforcement of regulations set forth by the Overseer. Enforcement of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. Yeah, 
security is just enforces. <laughs> Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of those roles is left up to overseer discretion. Everything was up to the overseer. Following a nuclear event, vault will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. That's very interesting. You notice that even once personnel left, they still wanted to keep the residents here frozen. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period, unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. See, now that's interesting because after 180 days, would it really be safe? Like, I don't think so. You would think that it wouldn't be, right? Just my opinion, but... God, it happened. It finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Yes. Yes, ethically you should have. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher-ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all-clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. But I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I don't think... I think Vault Tech is screwing with them because 180 days doesn't seem long enough. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops. 
The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. Hmm. Yeah, from the first log here, I can foresee bad because the security guys, this security guy is not with Vault Tech. Like, he doesn't agree with them. The main door accessing the Vault Exit is malfunctioning. Now, the only way out is through the Overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching from the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Uh-oh. Mutiny. But a very ill-fated mutiny because I think there's too much radiation. No wall clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine that we have by tonight. Or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of the staff was ever supposed to survive, to be honest. They only gave them enough food for 180 days. They didn't send them any kind of message to, like, get them anything else to eat or anything. And they knew, they had to know that if they left at 180 days, they'd die from radiation alone. On. Oop, cockroaches, here we go. Rad roach. Giant roaches? <laughs> what the hell? Right, giant roaches. You wake up and... The one thing that everybody hates, cockroaches, and they're bigger than ever. There's a lot of junk here. You can come back for it. You don't have to take it right away. But you can if you don't want to come back for it. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. There you've got all the initials of the top ten. This should be Red Menace. Yeah. And you can either play it right there, or you can just eject the hollow tape so that you can take it with you, collect it, play it, whatever. Here I suggest going around to the right. If you go through the middle, you're probably gonna get zapped. What are you doing? Where is it? 
Okay, this is this all that's left? left? Yeah. Probably the overseer. Got us a tape. Hollow tape, but we can't play it yet. Play it later. Oh, that's for another mod, Recruitable Settlers. It does exactly what it says. Won't be able to hack this. You can run into people that you can actually um, recruit. Okay, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. And you begin to see just how evil Vault Tech is. <laughs> they are incredibly unethical. Like, evil mega corporation, like, defined right here is a Vault Tech. Some of the things they do is, is just insanity. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. This we already know. We read this on the security terminal, pretty sure. Yeah, this is stuff we already read. The Overseer just has a couple of extras that, um, that the regular security terminal didn't have, like the one we just read. But these three are the same. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, it's all the same. I just wanted to make sure. All clear, mandatory, yep. All the same. Ba -na -ba -ba. It's all the same. Overseer's log is not. The final staff staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see what the promise of our future realized. And see the promise of our future realized.
It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only North Hagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried that there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. So, we're the family that waited until the last minute, and Nordhagen is the person that was supposed to be in the empty cryo chamber. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. I don't know why it does that. With my avatar, every time I take a drink, like, I jump. I'm just like, <laughs> There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all-clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just... Yeah, I was pretty sure 180 days was not going to be long enough. Most of the vaults were set up to have them in for years. Yeah, have to keep things going for the all-clear signal. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. That's horrific. Let's open the tunnel and head out. Did we miss anything in here? Not at the desk. All right, some more ammo and a ten millimeter nice. pistol. Cryo later. Coming back later, later for you. you. Yep. Come back later for that gun. Ba -da -ba -ba. Bobby pins. Perfectly preserved cigarette pack. We'll take that. Can sell it or use it. Let's check these up. Bobby pin for more money. Oh. Oh, lots of wretches. Mm. Oh, oh. If I could hit them, that would be good. Alright. Let's just a bunch of them all at once. Sure, why not? Okay, only three. There's one, two, and three. And last one. Ah! I didn't see you coming. Too many roaches. 
one roach is too many roaches. Five giant roaches is way too many. Alright, we're gonna go in here. And more roaches. How am I missing? Oh. There's a new jumpsuit. I hear another roach. Not sure where it is, but I hear it. There we go. Got it. Bum, 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 bum. Everyone's dead. Yes, they are. Pip boy. Now we'll be able to play our hollow tapes that we found. And we can equip things on our own. Because everything is done through our pip boy. Tab brings up pip boy on PC, by the way. Let's put on our glasses. That's all we really have. I'm having a little error. I'm winking. I'm winking. I love when the door is open. I think it's one of the most iconic things in Fallout. Just the way that they work. Just the giant mechanical doors. There we go. Okay. I hate how slow these doors are. I'm just impatient. You know, that's all it is. I'm just impatient. Hmm. I don't know why, but I always jerk when I drink my water. Like, not in real life, but... But me on screen? It goes a little haywire. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Thank you for using Vault Tech. Ooh, look, it's a nanny robot. We'll run into one of those, like, later, later, later. Later, later. Not now, now. Could you imagine just coming out of the vault, like, after you've been in there forever? Like this, like, you're just, like, blinded by the light. Okay, layers, that's a weapon mod. Oh, yeah. Backpacks are another mod. I use a number of mods. Another one is Tidy Bot. We're going to go pick it up over here. This is where you get your Tidy Bot. Your tidy bot will um, keep your settlement tidy. And it will do so by picking up all the items off of any corpses or bodies. It will loot everything and then it will store it in a chest and then it will clean up the bodies. So that when you're not at home, you don't end up coming back to like a bunch of bodies everywhere. Just a big mess. It just keeps things clean. 
over here there is a bunch of crates. We've got three right here. Ba -bum. And this security pod has another crate. And it's where you press the button to go back into Vault 111 if you want to. If you're doing survival, you probably will. Um, in my case, I will have a settlement really soon, so it won't matter. And since I can't really build in there, cram. And more ammo. Always good. Just going to take a quick look over things. Look at those birds. Okay. Looks like we got everything. We will head back down the path. right down here. This is what's left of our neighbors. Well, except there's a group of them that we'll run into and I have seen, you know, um, it's been actually left in a comment on one of my shorts about how there are actual other survivors. You're not really the lone survivor because, you know, you run into a bunch of your neighbors. And, uh, but the thing is, is that they're all feral ghouls. Now, it's true that they, at one point, therefore, must have been ghouls, you know, that turned into feral ghouls or whatever. But the, the point is, a feral ghoul's brain is rotten. And in order to have been a survivor, your brain has to be alive. It's, it's really you. He's so cute and sweet. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum. Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, <laughs> I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? Well, you see... They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. <laughs> I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Uh, not like you, Mum. You're the... Every time I have a sip of water. <laughs> well, not every time, but often. I just go, like, freaking out on screen. They... They killed him. Oh, Mom, yeah, these did. things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Codsworth's sure kind of lost so it. love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? No. Sean's been kidnapped. Yeah. I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, 200 years? What? A main shape? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, 
two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> two centuries I'm late for dinner. Snack, if you must be famished. Hmm. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I, For sure. I, uh, Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to Poor talk guy. to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Could you imagine? And don't get me Jeez. started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Well, I think you're supposed to grind it off, Codsworth. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... Dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believed so was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, okay. well, you can listen to that later. Everything happened. It makes me sad. Thank Sometimes you, when I listen to that tape, it makes You're me welcome. cry. It makes now, me emotional. Enough feeling sorry Just so for sad. Myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. I'm too much of a softy. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Lead the way. All right. Lead the way. How I'll follow. to serve, Mum? Mm. Picking up hostile. Found you. Found you. It's like he's playing tag or something. They shoot maggots and I don't like it. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Okay. Codsworth, you're in the way. Um, okay, you can handle that one. I'll come get this one. Oh, backstab, please. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, there's a magnet on me. Oh, that's so gross. Okay. Oh, there's a lot I can handle in my fallout, and like the maggot wiggling on me is just. Ugh. It's gross. Alright, stim packs. Mm. It's. Uh, Codsworth. Mom, your, your family isn't here either. They're really gone, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They are. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. <laughs> He's so polite about it, too, right? There's still people alive in Concord? <laughs> yes, although they're a bit rough. You Just remember a bit. the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Okay. Level. 
Ugh, when you start, there are so many places to put your points. And, like, it's a toss-up as to where they go first. I like to make sure that I have uh, hacking and lock picking right away, especially because I'm going to need one of them right away. In Concord, in fact. And for right now, I want to make my focus um, just getting through Sanctuary and Concord to the point of getting my first settlement together. And then I want to take some time to explore around Sanctuary and explore Concord. We might just explore Concord first. Because there is a lot to see. Well, a lot to explore anyway. And therefore a lot to see. Yeah, that's how it works. This is not the house I'm looking for. Um, bet you anything, it's the house I was already in. And now I won't know exactly where that house is. I'm looking for my house. I'll bet it's the one Codsworth is outside of. Okay. This is it. I thought it would have a floor safe in here, but it doesn't. Alright. This is the one that has Sean's room, so it has the books. Probably under the dresser. I don't think there's anything else in this room. Not seeing anything. All right, perception, I think, to help me better with my guns. For now. Um, yeah, I don't see a floor safe. That's probably in the house I started in. I do that all the time. Hmm. All right. Mirror. Nothing. Do school. Nope. Okay. I done triple checked. Done it. We gotta get to Concord now. Quick save. Go see Concord. And find Preston. But first, let's grab some stuff along the way. Here. There we go. Good stuff in the duffel bag. Now where is it? I'm trying to remember. There's another little stash. X12. That's another weapon. And air 15. A E R. Automatic energy rifle, I think.
I will have fun making. I will have fun making. Oh my dear God. Fire name. Must be up here. Should be a stash up here. Am I going too far? Did I pass it? This all? Plants is always good. Oh, there it is. Right behind the bush. Ammo and stim packs. That'll help. More thistles. There should be some stuff right around here somewhere. Ba -dum -ba. There it is. Purified water. And we've got a med kit with some stim packs. And on to the red rocket. Which is on the way to Concord. Oop, my fruit. Gotta stop for the yum yums. Mm. What does more damage? The pipe revolver rifle. Let's use that. Okay. Dog me. Goodest boy ever. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh. Let's change where I'm standing. There we go. You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yeah. Yay, doggy. I love the dog, but um, his crying really bothers me. I don't like it when he cries, and I hate it when he gets attacked and hurt. It just it makes me really sad. But I love having him. I just wish there was a way to not have the whining, because it's very just heartbreaking. Mm. No, the radio I'm hearing is in the other room. Cap stash. Moon cap. Okay, over here. I like turning off the radio. Oh, crap. I'm triggered the mole right. up the meat and the hides I guess too sell them or something or use them all right back in here let's use the terminal Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools to we need to machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fastener. Just take one we got and trim the excess down until it fits.
Well, that's good. For them, I mean, not having to pay extra. That Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat. But I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. Only reason she even came to me is because the engine's out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? And there is a cave beneath the shop, indeed. October service logs. Replace the brakes in 2075. Fusion Flea Supreme. I love the car name. Monthly service on the Vault Tech van. No major issues with the vehicle, but that rep is an uppity asshole. Began work on a late model motorcycle pre atomic. What seemed to be simply a sticky throttle turned out to be a more serious issue with the cables. They're almost all completely degraded. We'll replace with platinum parts. Coolant leak in one of those new 2077 Corbega coups. Bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. Replace the atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvega. That's about it. All right. Nothing in there. Here's our workshop. And this is how we build, and for some reason it decided to put me on the roof. I don't know why. I don't want to be on the roof. Down we go. Alright, this is out back. Well, side, really. To the left side, if you're facing it. From the road. Down here is the cave. Nothing over here. I thought I saw something. Alright, here is the cave. Green fungus. collect all the fungus we can. Let's get the mole rats done. There should be three in this room. One. Two. Number three is gonna jump out at me. Like that. a lot of fungus. There are a couple of little rooms. Here, this is where you find a fusion core, which you're gonna need. And the trash bath <laughs> trash busters award which says, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I'd like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image. 
and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regards. Sincerely, Gerard Phillips, the Vice President of Boston Region. And we find it in a cave where they've been storing nuclear waste. Some rounds. And then oops, get that on our way. The next little offshoot room here has a cooler. And then there's another. That's the way we came in, directly across from it, pretty much. We'll find another wall that. some brain fungus and there is a hey. safe in here if you have lock picking you'll be able to open it nice little hole and a teddy bear Let's not drink that water. More bobby pins, which is good, because we'll need them. Alright. And... We're on our way out pretty much at this point. It's just a tiny little cave. It's small. But, it's a, it's a worthy stop on the way to Concord, I think. And now, I mean, we have, we have lots of good stuff, and then we'll pick up some more armor and another weapon on our way into the museum in Concord. But now we've got a really good start. And we've got our dog meat. Blood bug hatchling. These guys, I'm really bad at hitting them. I'm bad at hitting most things, but I'm especially bad at hitting flying things. Bats is my friend. Brahmin hide, sure. Hub flowers. Hub flowers. Always gotta stop and smell the flowers. Alright. Straight up the middle. Because I have certain things I would like to accomplish today. Which is just primarily getting through the very beginning. Classy harness. And a gas mask. And some leg armor. Yeah. Mm, what does the harness look like? Hey yo. Alright. Let's get this guy. He ain't even looking. Er, missing ammo. Ten millimeter. I know I've got ammo for that. Oh. 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 
gotcha. Oh, leave the dog alone, man. There we go. That'll teach him. There's Preston. Good old Preston. Some road leathers and a chest piece. Hey, That'll come up in here, handy. On the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Musket. Fusion cells. Ooh, duster. Let's grab the duster. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put on our armor. I think I can wear the duster under the armor. Mm, yep. Ten millimeter does more damage than the pipe pistol. All right, and in we go. Let's go get them, dog. I hate single-use weapons like single shot, where you have to wind it. Or reload before you can take another shot. I mean, the shotgun's good enough that, but I mean, I I really prefer non-single shot, single-use weapons. Well, not single-use, single shot. Whatever. I like to shoot many bullet things at things. Okay. Okay. I want to shoot as many shoots as I need to shoot. See, that's such a pain. And then you forget, and then you press the button, and then it goes, uh, and it's like... All I want to do is shoot my weapon. That's all I want to do is shoot my weapon. And, and make their little head blow up. Is that so much to ask? Pop my little head out here, where are they? They're up there. Yeah. Alright, let's go open this on our way. That way we don't have to come back in. Let's do it that way, because why not? Mm. My skill is so low. There are so many choices, so many options. Well, I mean, it could have been it. It was a name. Zero likenesses. But sometimes it lies. Random guessing did not work for me. All right. Fargo, two likenesses. Spray has A and R. One likeness, so that's a no. Mm, could be harsh. Mm, could be. No, it can't be farms. It could be. Let's just let's just lock pick it. Oh. Let's let's do it again. We can do it. I believe in us. 
I have guns. Okay. All right. Now we go up. I'll take that. Okay. First you. One hit point left. Standing there staring at me. Dog meat took one. Okay, I, got I think they're it. mainly up there. Go this way. Kill himself? I think I think he just killed himself. <laughs> I didn't even shoot or anything. <laughs> he just went down. <laughs> that was so funny. I don't know what happened. But I didn't even get to shoot him. So oh, I don't know. He took himself out of the equation. <laughs> I was too frightened. Come on, pupper. Okay, anything in here? Ooh. It's, it's a fridge skull. Oh, hey. How convenient. Gotcha. Oh, hey. Rock friends. Or friend. <laughs> Must wind. Ugh. Must wind again. Stop hitting me. Hello? Yeah. I need to pay better attention to my health. Let's eat some brain fungus. It'll make me smarter. Probably should have taken the stim pack before I gave him a chance to kill me. Not that he did, but still. I'm all crippled and junk. Turned around now. Which way am I going? Out here. Okay. Someone's still alive. How dare you? There. Problem solved. Alright. There we go. Man, I don't know who you Yes. Magazine. You are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey. Commonwealth Minuteman. Hello, uh, Preston. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Yes, God you are. It. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Yeah, that, that Sorry. does sound rough. Sounds really rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that ain't it's good it. to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, really? Well, we do have one idea. <sighs> nope. Well, one good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. 
Now we're talking. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. That's a good mix for a low level. Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up I've again. I've already got two fusion cores, But cars, we're so a bit stuck. I'm set. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Already got it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. <laughs> well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I don't need luck. I got... I got... I'm gonna have power armor and a minigun. And I don't... My brain doesn't function well enough to make me afraid to jump down and just, just do it. Just, just do it. I'm just gonna, just throw myself out there. Well, primarily because, like, I have a save. I can, like, save game. You know what I'm saying? Careful, kid. Hell Reception, yeah. bubbled head. That's a good thing. Something coming. Oh, no, 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 no. And no, it's no, angry. No, 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 no. It's no, 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 no. angry. <laughs> That's not creepy at all, Mama. Mama Murphy being all creepy. Um, I want to use that. You plan on dying today? What was that about? You plan on dying today? Did he get mad because I took the computer from him? Is he gonna like attack me when I come off the computer? I don't know, I've never taken the computer from him before in all the times I've played. So that's kind of like, uh, you know? I don't know. We'll see. It's something new. I just wanted to see if I could get into the computer if not, I'll just come back for it later. That's what I'll do. No, then move it. Oh my goodness. Did those One two get in like I... an argument? Is it because like, did I push him into, into Preston and Preston lost his dang mind? I've never seen that before. That was interesting. That was pretty wild. I wonder what happened. Alright, power what? armor. Oh, just, I love the animation of actually getting into the power armor. Come on, how freaking cool is that? Pretty dang cool. I love that. You get the whole, like, effect, the whole experience of getting into the armor. Mini gun. I am sorry, Pupper. Things are about to get a little crazy. Just a little. Just a little bit of crazy crazy. Alright, first let's use probably the musket. Up here! But there's somebody up here! The guy over there. On the roof. Being a freak. Look. There he is. Right there. It's a raider. Oh. Why can't I hit you? I hit you the first time. Thanks. 
such a hard time. Oh. Dear goodness. There we go. Okay, finally. That guy was really fun. So I love jumping and I love the boom. That sound. Boom! Of the land. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, come here, Gristle. Come here, Gristle and friends. Yeah. I'm on Gristle, Gristle. Shouldn't have done this with me. See? Shouldn't have done mess with me. Oh! Well, I know what that is. Uh, death claw. Death claw coming. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Ooh. 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 Ooh, death claw, death claw. Just a map to the open air where I can move. Oh, 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 no. Puffer, 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 puffer. I'm not a best shot. I'm good shot at the best of time. Okay, out of the mini gun. Fire thing. Stuff. Alright. Got it. I'm coming, puppy. Here you go. Now, who is shoot? You're shooting at me while I'm busy with my dog. That ain't cool. Like, you gotta go down. I'm just saying. Don't you die on me! Where are you? There you are. Hey, around. Could you not? Well, the kitty is putting my gloves into the cat food ball. He loves to put things in his food bowl. Oh, my little puppy. Get away from my puppy. Aww. He's okay, dog meat. Come on, we gotta go tell them it's safe now and they can come out. Bunny, bunny, and get them back to sanctuary. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Take it easy, Mama. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen. Yeah. When we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Aww. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. Mm. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. Already kind of my home base There's more anyway. to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. All is not lost. I can feel. Funny thing your is, she's son's not wrong. Energy. He's alive. Two things can be true at the same time. Where is my son? He is. Where is she? Sean? does have oh, some I wish I knew, form of I really do. sight. But it's not like she's I can kind of see a seer. Son. But she's also a drug force, addict. His energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell so you both where are you should start looking. A great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The 
biggest settlement around. What's Let's... in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired Big city. now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. But shush, Preston, we're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get mm. going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're he heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of Ugh, her gourd? Murphy's and now you awful. want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly turn on, out any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? No. Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. I like Sturgis. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Even if he is a simp. Pretty sure he's a simp. I think one time I tried to pickpocket him, like look at what he has on him to see if he was a simp and it saw a simp part, I think. Don't remember fully. I think he's a simp though. Right behind you, boss. That or you find out you see his name on something. I don't know. For some reason my brain is telling me that that's the case. That one of those is the case. Possibly. All right, back to Sanctuary we go. And then we have to get them set up. And then the adventure continues. And that's when we begin looking at leaving Sanctuary. Except I'm playing Sim Settlements too. So there's a couple of additional steps. And I love Sim Settlements too. I love it. It's an amazing system. And, you know, I hate calling it a mod because it's so much more than a mod. But, I mean, it is technically a mod. That's... But it's amazing. And you can find, um, if you want to know more about it and find all of the different channels, you can look up uh, King Gaff's channel. K-I-N-G-G-A-T-H, I think. And you will find um, more information about Sim Settlements too. Or you can just look it up on the web. They have a whole website. It's pretty amazing. And I love playing with it. It just, it brings so much. Not just storyline wise, but you'll see. Uh, I can't you'll say see. I'm going to miss this festering boil on know, the ass see. end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> if you're from here or something. Yeah, Sturges, you could kind of say that. Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. oh. Okay. The help you need is in Diamond City, child. Yeah, I know. I gotta go to Diamond City. But I got some stuff to do first. Like getting your butt set up in the sanctuary. And also, I need to repair my power armor. For sure. I also need to find more fusion cores and be very careful how I'm using my power armor until well, I find that. more. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? Could hmm. be some good salvage in there. The Red Let's Rocket. get to Sanctuary first, though. I 
think we're close. Not raining. Let's go. Let's go before it gets on. Oh, the demon, I can't see two feet in front of my face. And then that's really annoying when you're trying to build. Luckily, I don't have to do much building, but yeah. That means this right here. I already picked up the goodie bag. I call that the best moment I've seen since the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't but know I what you're talking about. about. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. Get it? It's a good place to call home. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Before what war? I mean, I'm ancient, honey. I mean, I mean, I'm I over 200 years old. Over 200 years ago. I and I just found out. Frozen or something for most of it. Shocking. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you <laughs> like an old pre-war ghoul. Anybody else make it out with you? Thanks, Preston. Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn, I'm sorry. But no, I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for her. Yeah, anyway, I feel like people would notice a baby. Because there probably aren't that and I hope many. you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? Yeah, sure. It doesn't what make kind of sense to me that he Sounded asked like you easy. immediately, Raiders. like, to go out You'll somewhere to get all for the him. You talk to I mean, I get it for moving the story along, but... I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. It just doesn't make and sense. To use more people like you. By you the would way, think that you want to help out around here at all? He would Talk ask one of his people he's traveling sure with that he's known for a little people. longer. Instead of like, hey stranger, you saved our butts, so well I guess that's good enough for you. Man. You look like you can make it there without dying all alone. So I guess that's that's a pretty good reason. Now that I think about it. Okay, we gotta go see Sturges and get started on his little quest for them settling in Sanctuary. And then we can get the beginning of Sim Settlement 2 quest line started, which is really just like a nice little tutorial. It's part of the story, but it's also just like a nice little tutorial on how to use the basics. Alright, let's get up the power armor and not waste our fusion cards. Mm -hmm. See what I can repair right now. Just with what I kind of have. Yeah, well, at least managed to get all the pieces back on. Alright. Now, I could go piece by piece picking everything up, but I'm not going to do that this time. Don't really need to. Okay, that looks fun. Alright. Do save. And there is Mr. Sturgis. Hey, pupper. 
What do you see? What did you find? Oh, something in the house. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll go get it. I'll go get it, Pepper, so that you'll stop standing out there. Something back here. Mm, near. There's a right away. Could be that. Also be along here. Bobby pen. It could have been that suitcase. There's Mum Murphy. raise my settlement and I'm gonna res or raise the base settlement so instead of having to go around and clear everything out um, it's just gonna do it for me so anything that needed to be picked up is just all gonna be picked up um, the trees that could be scrapped all of that it's all gonna I'm willing to do some done. work yep be glad what kind to of help. help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Mm. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Okay. He wants beds. Now, because I have some settlements, the way that I personally uh, like to do this, let's pick up the robotics magazine. The way I like to do this myself is I just wait for the raising to finish. Mm. And then... If I build a um, power generator and a recruiting station, the stranger will appear, which is the start of the Sim Settlements 2. And you will see why I personally like to do it this way. Because I'm going to end up building stuff anyway. And that way I can get that part done. And then... when I use a city plan, because I'm going to use a city plan here, um, it'll just destroy what I've already built anyway. But then that'll fulfill um, the quest for Sturgis in building those things. And then it We're looking for the stranger, and I see him. I see him coming down the road. There he is. Hey! Hello there! If I'm not mistaken, you're the gal I've been looking for. That's me. Can I help you? I heard your radio broadcast. Sounded as if you were starting some kind of settlement. Is that about the right of it? Yep. That's right. Well, in that case... I've got something you might be interested in. Here, catch. ASAM. It's called an ASAM sensor. If you're going to be building settlements, these things are what you'll want to use. Mm-hmm. Okay. Care to elaborate? Mm, I think a demonstration is in order. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. I'm going to let them do the demonstration. Yeah, spot will do. Go through it. Kind of have to anyway, for the at least the original stuff. Um, some settlements, residential blocks. Okay. 
see if I can get it kind of straightish. <laughs> ah. I am so not straight. Okay. Uh, there we go. That'll work. sensors for your city planning needs. Mm -hmm. Unlike other less reliable multi-purpose sensors, mm -hmm. Rocker brand ASAP mm -hmm. sensors mm -hmm. Done raising. Good. Offer the level of versatility and connectability Done that you deserve. Rocker brand ASAP sensors, America's number one sensor solution. There is a cost to building um even open. with these, so Nicely done. Don't mind the ASAM, it's just scanning the area for materials. Um, 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 um. All right, then. Now, for this next part, I'm gonna pretend to be a settler. Just come to work for you. <laughs> so, just play along, all right? Okay. <clears throat> Boy, I sure am glad I found this settlement to live in. But oh no, there are no homes available. And I don't know how to build one myself. He's such a bad I actor. guess I'll just have to rely on whoever runs this place to build a home for me. Don't, don't sell, sell yourself short. short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ASAM! Just the thing I need! <laughs> what do you need it for? That is a great question. You see, with an ASAM, there's no barrier for entry when it comes to building something. All I'd need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by the ASAM. Here, let me show you. But up, but up. Once you've placed down a sensor, your role in the construction is pretty much done. What's super cool about this is now your settlers will actually Just about anyone build the stuff can themselves. The area and start building for themselves. Uh huh. Your settlers actually interact with it, so you don't have to be there for them to build something, as long as the ASAM is down. The directions that the ASAM provides are so easy to understand, even a savage could do it with no problem. Mm hmm So if you ever were like, I wish people would like do some building and some stuff while I'm not there. Right, Sim settlements too. Just one more nail. And true story. Finished. A man's home is his castle, and no one understands that better than Rocco. Benny, Our ASAP Benny, sensor technology offers Benny. citizens unrivaled freedom of DIY home design. Built using locally sourced materials and designed via our patented dynamic easy build blueprint software. Mm -hmm. With Rocco brand ASAP sensors, everyone can have a roof over their head. After all, a warm and dry citizen is a productive citizen. And there you have it. A fully built home, ready for habitation by some lucky wastelander. And you barely had to lift a finger. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby, huh? So now that you've seen shabby. what they can do, what do you think? Are ASAM sensors something you might be interested in? Oh, heck yeah. Yes. I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, I forgot right to grab the box that ASAM However, I can provide you with more. Oh, well, I have to follow Once you him there more, anyway. I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Or meet him Homes there, are just whatever. the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. But of up. course. Just tell me what you need help with. All right, here it is. I got me a workshop at a town called Concord. Nice mm -hmm. enough place, fairly quiet. Well, at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find mm -hmm. the entire town overrun by raiders. And now I can't get near my workshop. These happen to be the raiders that we've already killed. To take on alone. So, so I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. We've That's already done it. You help me get rid of these raiders, I'll give you more ASAMs. And yeah. show you how to build even more stuff with them. There's no need to worry. 
I already took care of those raiders. You did? True story. Huh. I need to go check this out for myself. Not that I don't believe you, but, you know, I'll meet you outside of Concord Hardware. Then we can discuss your payment. <laughs> we can beat him there. Pit. Look at this cute little jog. He's got a cute little jog. He's just jogging. Look, he's not outright running. He's just, he's, you know, he's keeping pace. Dog meat and me were like, zoom. Zoom. Lushko. He'll be fine. He'll catch up. He's doing his little jog. His cute little run. It'll be okay. Oh, I leveled up too. I have a I have a level. I have two levels. Alright, well. Let's get locksmith. So we can do advanced locks. Um. And then. Where do I want to put the other point? Um. um, um, um. I want gun nut, but my stats need work. Uh, armor would be good too. Eh. So many places I want to put the one point and I just, I can only put it in one spot right now. I know what's coming though, so where do I really want it right, right now? Honestly, charisma, probably. Because as I start interacting with more people, high charisma is going to start being more important. Ah, uh, well, take Lone Wanderer. I should have put it in charisma, but. Being able to carry more is helpful. So. What do you think, dog meat? Let's go to the store. And we can grab a box and then we'll get a box off him. And that'll be enough for... Probably like the first two or three settlements, maybe more, because our first ones are going to be small, except for sanctuary, so. Sanctuary will probably take like a full 20. Because I'm doing a city plan, so. This is the shop, and there's the sensors. There are other boxes too, but I just don't feel like I need any more right now. I don't know if I'll end up needing more before I get to the point where I can make the sensors. We'll see. I can always come back. Mm-mm-mm. being Snoopy. Um, 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 um. I'm not being good at guessing tonight. Just guess randomly, maybe. Pretty much random. And see if I can get in. And if I can't, I'll get in when I'm doing all of Concord. Because I want to explore all of Concord anyway.
Dafin. Mm. I can keep trying till he gets here. And then I'll pretend I wasn't actually snooping. Well, anything, anything? One do I want to try? Uh, I think I saw him moving outside too. Mm. Try one more time. Not egos, not goals, not sunk. How many times am I gonna try it, please? I don't know. I was starting to annoy myself, but it would be good to get into this now and not have to do it again later. But I am gonna have to do all of Concord anyway, so. It's not too terrible. Mm. Well. I'm not guessing it right. I think he's gonna be. If I try again, I might get locked up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I have to pick. Oh, denied. Terminal has locked you out. It will reset after 10 seconds. I got locked out. Hi. Oh, hey. I'll be honest, when you said you'd already taken care of the Raiders, I had my doubts. But you were speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. You held up your side of the bargain. The Raiders have been dealt with. Now it's my turn to deliver. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll get you your ASAMs. Okay. Ba ba da ba. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> I was probably in your way. Hey there. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll okay. get you your ASAMs. 
Okay. Welcome to my workshop. Or at least what's left the Raiders didn't smash. You, uh... You own this place? I suppose I do. I mean, there was no one else here. Yeah, it was a good place to set up shop. Well, it was a good place until the Raiders showed up. <laughs> well, they're gone now. I don't understand now. their need to smash and knock stuff over. Nice place you got here. Despite the mess they made, it doesn't look like they took anything important. Most of my equipment is still here. Including your reward. Yay. Here. One whole box of ASAMs to do with as you see fit. You earned them. There we go. City manager holiday. What exactly is going on here? Well, before the raiders showed up, I was doing research on the ASAMs. Despite me being the closest thing in the Commonwealth to an expert, there's still a lot I don't know about them. Hmm. Happy to help. That's not all. If you remember, I also promised to show you more things you could build with ASAM sensors. Yes, you did. I'll meet you back at your settlement. All Don't keep right. me waiting long now. Let's fast travel back to Sanctuary. And back we go. Level up. Alright, and this will give us our food production and our industrial. So, that's three different types of buildings. Time to show you what else ASAMs can do. Now, generally speaking, people need a roof over their head, food in their bellies, and a place to be working. We already built a place someone can live. So mm -hmm. if you're ready, let's move on to those other two things. Okay. Show me. All right. Place down a sensor again. But this time, we'll use one configured for food production. Might as well just put it over near the other one. Agriculture. I'm still in residential. There. Let's use one with a. Go space. ahead. Just put it down wherever you like. Like. There we go. Let him run up there and show us everything about the little. Agricultural, so farm, basically. There's all different kinds. It's, it gets pretty dang cool. Okay. I'm going to take on the role of a settler again. Don't worry, I won't subject you to my bad theatrics this time. I just want to show you how easy this is. Mm -mm -mm. There are mods that let you use now, the high-tech ones and stuff thumb, to but to the ASAP, add, like, even really more matter. additional ones. And there are all kinds of city plans and everything you can grab off Nexus. It'll tell your settlers where to dig, what to plant, when to harvest. Takes out all the guesswork. No fuss, no muss. Oh, maybe a little bit of muss. I mean, I am getting covered in dirt. But how's that different to any other day in the Commonwealth? Hmm. <laughs> true, true that. Okay. Okay. Almost done. And there we go. Just like that.
That dog whining really gets to me. Don't like that sound. And there we have it. A fine plot of land ready for cultivation. This from the guy who wants underwater to cactus. Hmm. I like it. Glad to hear. All right, we've built a home, a farm. Next thing is a place to work. You know, somewhere folks can perform a little industry. Gather yes. scrap or do a bit of scaving, that kind of thing. Go ahead, put down an ASAM that's programmed for that. Industrial. Just throw it here for now. It's not going to stay anyway. Um, sure. Junk storage. And there he goes. Okay, time for some industrial action. I'm on it. <laughs> Looks like the sensors pre-selected a storage unit to build. Now you can oh, just build see? the whole thing this way. Or you can just use the regular building tools that you always had. Or... Um, you can do as I'm gonna do and just use a city plan. Now any old fool can gather a pile of junk. That way it'll all just kind of happen throw. automatically. Need folks to gather useful building materials. And a storage unit will encourage people to do that. Wood, steel, maybe even a little asbestos to help keep warm. And don't be surprised if in time people start gathering even more useful stuff. Mm-hmm. I do, Papa. That's true now. I had it tidy. And we're done. And there we go. How cool is that? Basic necessities covered. Although mm -hmm. folks won't be happy with the bare essentials forever. Eventually they will want more. Yeah. Now it's up to you what type of ASAMs you put down, but do try and keep in mind what folks in your settlements will be needing. Excuse me. Hello. Nope. Uh, don't shoot oh, now. Oh. I don't mean no harm. Got a love. I hope you don't mind the intrusion. I couldn't help but notice all the commotion. What are you two youngins up to here? That is, if you don't mind me asking. Fixing okay. up these buildings, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Actually, we just finished building these. Foundations, walls, everything. Is that so? Built them mm -hmm. by yourself, did you? Well, you two looking to settle down here, or...? This settlement belongs to my friend here, not me. I was just demonstrating some... 
construction techniques using this ASAM sensor. Construction techniques? Using that gadget there? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Brahmin dung to me. Brahmin Are you telling dung? me you made all this using that gizmo? <laughs> Sorry. Who are you? Oh, did I not introduce myself? No. Well, you'll have to forgive me. When you get to be my age, pleasantries become somewhat optional. I'm old Paul. People call me that on account of how old I am. You know, and before you go asking my age, don't. I stopped counting years ago. Now y'all gonna answer an old man or not? You two really built this stuff. Yep. That's right. We're rebuilding. <laughs> you say What's that wrong? as if building stuff is easy. Hey, here's What's a suggestion. Wrong, Lila? Why not offer the old timer residence here? Huh? Let him experience the benefits of sensors firsthand. That is, if you'd be interested in staying here. I'll admit, seeing you two build with those doodads did pique my curiosity. You can hang uh, on a little bit longer. And it might be nice to settle down somewhere for a while. It is getting dangerous out there, especially for a scav past his prime. Old Paul but, so uh, would an old man like me really be welcome here? Yeah. I'd welcome the help. Okay, then, you got yourself a deal. Old Paul is at your service. Now, if uh, you'd excuse me a second, I uh, <laughs> want to check out this here sensor doohickey. How about that? Your ASAMs have already attracted their first resident. With that, I'd say our exchange of services is complete. Yes. Enjoy your ASAMs. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back mm -hmm. to the hardware store. A lot of important work to begin on with. Okay. What kind of what work? Kind of work? What you doing? I've got I'm some family matters I need to take care of. Some personal stuff. I'm sure you understand. I understand. It was good working with you. Yeah, you too. I should get going. Oh, and good luck with your settlement. Hey, where's that ASAM fella going? I wanted to ask him a few questions. <laughs> We sit. Well, Old if Paul. something's wrong, maybe I can help. Uh, maybe you could. You're the head honcho around this place, right? Mm hmm. Well, I've got True a request story. to make. You see, I noticed that there's a whole bunch of new people around here, so I'm thinking it might be best to put down a few more of these here sensor thingamabobs. Oh. You know, to make sure everybody's got I a home, a place to work, and not to mention enough food. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Well, I've been known to have a decent idea now and again. These <laughs> ASAM things seem very impressive, but we can only make use of them if you place them down for us. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, we'll get it all taken care of real quick. I like to save first in case I make myself crash. Never mind. All right. Furniture, we're gonna put down a city planner's desk. And we're just gonna go pick us a city plan. Uh, I don't know which ones I have installed on this profile right now. Um, let's see, there's the basics. Waning Sanctuary, that's a nice one. Um, missing plugins for those two. Um, Reader's Sanctuary, no thank you. Sanctuary WG, Waning Givens, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with the, the Sanctuary WG. Let's try that. Alright, I need to assign someone to the desk. We need a mayor. Who's gonna be the mayor? Here, I personally like to start off at least with Sturgis in charge. I like it. It works pretty well for me. Could be anybody, but I'm going to choose him. So, command and go. Assign. Alright. I'm not worried about where that is because it's going to move. Watch, it's going to do all of it on its own. All I'm going to do is watch. I'm just going to watch. 
be impressed. I like everything about it. I like that it goes into this, this big theatrical dramatic mode. The music, how it kind of rotates around. And it all builds or starts to build before your eyes. It's just crazy. I don't remember which one this one is, but... Oh, it's the one with the walls. Okay. It's the one with all the walls in it. It's actually a really cool one. See, you'll notice water is being taken care of. They'll be dropping farms, they'll be dropping dust, they all live. Everything is being put up as needed. And we'll load in now. And now so much of the work has been done for us. Really. And it just instantly starts looking amazing. I love it. And now, without me doing anything, my settlers are, like, actually running around building things that we need. I mean, how amazing is that? Pretty dang cool. Mm -hmm. Now we've got all of that. We have city plans for the red rocket. What is it? Mm -mm -mm. Looking pretty good. I also have a mod in here so that I can... Oop, gotta kill. Ooh, I forgot I had my minigun on. That's funny. I have to greet the newcomers. But anyway, I can repair the houses in Sanctuary. Mm. But I'm not going to do that till I see dusty. which ones are worth Where's repairing. Mr. Handy when you need one? Based on the city um, plan I'm hey. using. Are you the one who put out the radio message? Is this your settlement? It's very nice. We had to leave our home. Everyone was getting sick. So if you're looking for people and it's no trouble, well, we'd like to live here. Okay. What was that about people getting sick? Don't worry, none of us are sick. That's why we left, so we wouldn't catch it. I don't know what caused the illness. Maybe bad water? Now we just want somewhere new to live. Maybe here, if you'll have us? Of course. Go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, we're willing to work. Just let us know where you want us. No problem, Lily. Lily and friends. People are having to sleep in shifts. It's making everyone a bit cr Well, y'all get beds Frank. fast enough. Chill out. Y'all just joined up, you know? Go go build something. Just saying. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Agreed. 
Here's Sturgis. That's who I need to talk to to complete this quest. Mm -mm -mm. I also need to check the space and get rid of the junk in my inventory. What all's in here? Mm, no. Got all my... I got all my stuff. Oh, I can take those. Fusion cells. That'll be handy. And the messenger bag. That's part of the backpacks kit. It allows you to, well, have backpacks and bags that you can carry that give you an additional carry space. Very useful. There um, um, um. it is. This one might just be for looks. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see it carrying much. Could be wrong. Ma'am. Mama Murphy. Mm. Pollution. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. Now this we gotta argue with Mama like Murphy some again. bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so hmm. it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Nope. Nope. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Mm -hmm. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the chems are going to kill me, then I say I've had a good run. No. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. Plus, your eyes you are all it. bloodshot. You need it. It's part of who I You're am. You're not looking so good there, Mama. <sighs> They're both red. Isn't there any way you could use the sight without chems? Let me tell you a story, kid. Once, there was a beautiful young girl mm -hmm. with a special power. Used to get in all kinds of crazy adventures. She meets a handsome young boy, but he doesn't like her power, thinks it makes her a slave to something evil, and so the power goes away, and it's not there when the girl and the boy need it most. Now the boy's gone, and the girl is old, but she has friends, and her power keeps them safe. That's all that matters. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. It's my decision, kid, not yours. Now I don't have a high enough a charisma while, yet. But I'm still not saying yes. Lucky person, Holmes. Alright, let's talk to Sturgis. Sturgis. Oh, first I have to investigate the commotion. That's what I have to do. Nothing to do with Mr. Sturgis hey, yet. Stop that, please. It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work mm. right. That's no reason to go beating the living daylights out of it. Well, how do I make it do what I want? Where I wish they? I could tell you, but I really don't, don't know. It then like. you don't know that kicking it won't work. <laughs> oh, Lily. Hey, stop that, please. It can't be good for the sensor. But it won't work right. That's no oh reason to go beam the living daylights out of it. Excuse I me, I wish yes? I could tell oh, you, hello but again. I really don't know. 
Oh, thank goodness you're here. Maybe you can talk some sense into the young lady. <laughs> What's the problem? It's this sensor thing. I want to build a store, you know, somewhere I could sell stuff, but it won't work. A store? I don't think the sensors can build those. Can they? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. You know who would know? That ASAM fella. Maybe you should go find him. They Ask him what else the these sensor flibbity gibbets can yet. do. I'll go see him immediately. Oh, well, that's great. In the meantime, I'll get the new arrival settled. <laughs> and hopefully prevent more property damage. Good luck. Hey, old Paul. Bye, old Paul. What are you up to? Ran out of ASAMs or something? Let's get some more places for people to sleep. Working on it there, Paul. Do we need more places for people to sleep? No, 11 people, 13 beds. We're golden. Huh. Alrighty then. Just something he feels like saying, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's change our build limits so that they can keep building while I'm busy and not here to keep an eye on what's going on. And there we go. So we are now at 200% of the original size, the original amount that could be built here. Which may not be enough completely, but it's enough for now at least. For sure. I don't remember with this city. Mm, I'm done. Alright. Well... That'll be it for tonight, and uh, I hope you had fun. And next time, we will continue with our quests, and we will go ahead and uh, explore all of Concord for sure. All right. Bye. See you next time.